All right, everybody, welcome back to more Persona 5, where we wing the rest of the game all the way to the fucking end. In between videos, I went and I feel I went and I pulled Alice out, and she's a beast, uh, straight up. I also fused fucking Satan, the actual Satan. True blue fucking Satan. I fused him, so he's he's fucking dope. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing I did. You know, all things considered, do I even need Messiah anymore? I'm gonna get rid of Messiah. Messiah, you can sit this out. I have the fucking Satan. So who cares? Uh, for today, we're gonna head to. The school gate and go hang out with Haru. Time to head up to the rooftop. <laughs> oh, shit, do I have an Empress on me? I do. Still have Harati. Good day. Uh, let's hang out. Huh? It's a secret. <laughs> Yeah, I'll come along. Let's go. Thank you. How about Jinbocho? It would be a perfect place to look. Well then, let's get going. Mm. I see. So there are eight different ways to roast coffee beans. Apparently, the light roast is the most acidic. It says here that the different types of roast you want should differ depending on how you want to drink your coffee. Uh. That's fascinating. Yes. It is. I I think I'd like to try hand roasting each type someday. To be honest. You know, Okumura Foods didn't start out as a burger chain. Originally, it was nothing more than a small cafe run by my grandfather. That particular shop closed before I was old enough to be able to appreciate the finer in 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 intricacies of coffee. But that's where the real origin of our family business lies. I had no idea. I didn't either. My father only first mentioned it to me about a year or two ago. Um, At any rate, after my grandfather passed, the company shut the cafe down due to its steady loss of revenue. He never ha he never cared uh, about turning a profit, though. His only goal was to make people happy. He built a strong community around the cafe. He'd even give out free meals to those who couldn't afford it. Then the day it closed, people lined up for blocks to give flowers. They really loved that place. But... I wonder how many people would line up for Big Bang Burger if it suddenly went out of business. I know we need to do well to keep our employees paid, but I can't help but think that we've lost something important. I mean, Takakura-san only seem, seems only focused on profits at this rate. We'll lose... we'll, we'll never lose our black image. Uh, that would be bad. Yes. Yeah, I have to figure out a way to turn things around. I really need what I I think what I really need is to get stronger. I mean, I can act tough in front of employees, but you know how weak I am inside. And I have a plan though. Before I can really determine who I trust. I first need to know what it means to have others trust in me. So I'm going to get stronger. Strong enough for you and the others to rely on me. I told you all upright we were going to be speedrunning Haru. I think by the end of the month she's going to be like rank 8 or something like that. All right. We flat out like speedrun her shit. But when you look at how late you get her, you don't have much of a fucking choice. Hmm, but how am I supposed to gain the trust of my employees? I'm not even great at public speaking, and even just giving my opinion makes me a little nervous. Haru? Huh? Sugimura? What are you doing here? I was just heading home from a business engagement when I saw you from my car window. Hmm, do I know you from somewhere? 
Ah, oh, you're one of those brats from before. Um. This is a friend from school. He's helping me look for some books today. Anyways, we should be getting back to our shopping. Please excuse us. Hold on, Haru. You think you can go on a date with another man and leave your fiancé in the dust? You're not my fiancé. I already said I'm not going to marry you. Oh, yeah? Well, what about the contract I made with your father? Father is no longer here. Besides, marriage is something you go, you go into of your own free will. A contract could never hold the same weight. Are you sure about that? Think about the reparations clause. If you back out the deal now, you will lose everything. You own Okumura Foods, your estate. Even so, I... And what about your employees? Are you really willing to put their jobs on the line for the sake of your selfishness? Besides, this marriage is exactly what Okumura, need, Okumura Foods needs right now. My father would have no trouble managing your shares or sweeping away your company's tarnished image. That reminds me. Did Takura-san tell you about the wedding hall? He got us the Phoenix Wing at the Wilton. Huh? Wh what? He made a provisional reservation for ten days this coming spring. After all, the sooner the better. Well, wait a minute. We'll have to look into our guest schedule, into our guest schedules as well. There'll be over three hundred of them, you know. Takakura-san can handle Kimura Foods in the meantime. Why don't you stop by the gym or something, Haro? I mean, if you have time to mess around with this punk, you damn well have time to get a little thinner. I'm out of here. I'm sorry about that. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try both because... Uh, one uh one two answer question one two answer response is this a zero for both and one is a three so they're both the same so i'll just try them both um. you're right i can't afford to drag myself down with such negativity thank you Anyways, um, I hope I can share with you again some other time. For today, though, I'm rather tired. Would you be okay if we parted here? Goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry for the sudden call again. The thing is, Sukumura Sukumura san reached out to me again after we saw him. I'd rather not talk to him, but I couldn't stand him using the company to threaten me, and even speaking so badly of you. The negativity felt so painful, too much to handle alone, and before I knew it, I was already calling you. You can talk to me anytime. Hearing that makes me so happy, thank you. Even though I just promised myself I'd get stronger, I suppose I'm still depending on you. But still. I can't help but worry about the contract. How frustrating. I can't just let them keep manipulating me like a puppet. I have to find some way I can change this. Talking to you has helped calm me down. Thank you. Really. We'll talk again soon, right? He should be available today. There's no there's no reason why he shouldn't. Yeah. Saturday and Sunday are the only days he's actually available. Or the only days I have access to right now that he's actually available. So I should be able to max him out using today and tomorrow. Because that's the only other... I mean, I need next month for two days just to finish out Futaba. Because as I mentioned before, we have one more day, one more scheduled day with Futaba this month. Where if the guide hadn't led me astray, we'd be maxing her. But because that didn't work out the way I planned, well, I'm going to have to just max her out with the two days I'm going to have. So with those extra two days I'll have, I'll have to max her out that way. So it's fun. Oh, it's freezing. 
been really cold out lately, but I gotta be careful of dust and humidity. Static electricity is the enemy of detail work, so I gotta keep an eye out for it. What do you want today? I wanna work. Remember what I said? Nobody thinks you're alive at this point, so it should be okay as long as you're careful. What are you gonna do? You gonna hang out with EY? Hell yeah! Time for you to do some work around the shop, Mr. Gun Enthusiast. Hey. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. The thing's an antique. I'm not going to sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda. I heard he got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? Shit, I don't actually have this brought up. Fuck. Uh, one sec. I need to bring this up, because I don't have this. I don't actually have this brought up. I'm sorry, what? Oh, rank 9. Right. I was looking at rank 8. I always get that confused. Uh, are you sure he's still alive? Yeah. Think so. Pretty big relief assuming it's true. I mean, sure that bastard pissed me off, but I never once wished he'd up and die on me. This whole thing's been real crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model of upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times was changing. Hello? Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda... Huh? Wait, what? Where the hell are you doing? Hey. You motherfucker! Hey, hold on! Damn it! That bastard Masa's abducted Karu. Will Karu be okay? He damn well better be or else Masa's a dead man. God, that piece of shit. He knew about Suda's failure the whole time. I bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. We should hurry. Right, they're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Shit. Come on, let's go. You bring, you bring in your peace, right? Don't worry, I got steel on me. Hey, hey let the kid go. Take it easy, Mona san All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right? Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he... Ugh, damn it. Man, ain't he just a great kid? Cut the bullshit. And hey, what are you, Mune's boy? Mune's son, Aaron boy? Wait, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. Hey. I said let the kid go. Fuck off. I heard you the first time. So what are you, so what are you gonna make me do? Great question. You know those modded guns you were gonna give Suda? It'd be really nice to get my hands on them. There's a lieutenant spot open now that suit is gone, but I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. And you're gonna help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Masa, but you got some real shitty time and we just broke them all down. There's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything about this kid's situation. <sighs> what? What? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, kid? About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it, Dad? Tell me the truth. I can handle it. That ain't true. I'm trying to protect you. Hey, this family is this family bullshit's real touching and all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? 
Why don't we start with the delivery date? The sooner the better, in my book. Shit. God damn it. Oh, don't give me that shit. None of this would have happened if you didn't go and take in that brat. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. You need to trust your son. Nigga, if you don't tell your kid right the fuck now what the fuck's going on, I'm about to put two pe I'm about to put two bullets in this nigga's head. Don't think I won't, dog. I'm already dead, dude. Everyone thinks I'm dead. There ain't nothing wrong with me killing somebody. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Yo. Karu, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a while now, and you're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your real parents didn't die in a car crash. <sighs> You were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you really freaking told him, Munachan. He's not lying either. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell you to, to us just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yup. Then when Munasan here wasn't by, she just dumped you and ran. And that's how you ended up with the Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ah, oh, that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day. Couldn't wait to see the look on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Be boo freaking who? How sad. Enough. All that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I'd never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me, or if my dad was part of the Yakuza? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the Gecko. So you know what? I don't care what you have to say about us. I'm me. And Mune, I, Mune Hisa Iwa is my dad. Huh. <sighs> a boy. Listen, Massa, let's put an end to this right here. Right now, we can start fresh. Seriously, you don't get it, do you? Kar Karu comes. No, Massa. You're the one who doesn't get it. You've really fucked up. Oh, fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, uh, what's the, what's the over-under on that shit being fake? Homeboy's a straight up Yakuza, nigga. You dead. I've seen this play out way too many times, dog. You don't walk away when a Yakuza decides to walk up on your ass and pull a gun. He pulled a real ass piece, my dude. You are dead. There ain't no escape in your fate. Homeboy, homeboy, I don't think homeboy wants you to live. I don't think you get to live at that point. There is no like, you walk away, we call it a day. You know, everybody's all nice and happy at the end. Like, you just don't get that at that point, right? Like, that's not that's not how this works. You don't get to just walk the fuck away like nothing ever happened. Like, do you? Not usually. It's not usually how this works, my guy. You don't usually get that kind of... That kind of shit when this happens. When this shit kind of, when this kind of shit happens, dog, you just get fucked. Like, like this ain't Kiryu. He, this nigga will kill you. Oh. Suda? Suda. I mean, sir, don't give me that. I know you ratted out. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You never have had. You never have been good at keeping your fucking mouth shut. No, it wasn't me. Uh huh. And what do you think you're doing, waving that knife around, huh? Ah, uh, sorry. Your kid's got guts, Mune. Like father, like son, huh? Yo. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought about much what comes after. All I really know is, this is where we say goodbye, Mune. Take care, brother. Come on, let's fucking go. You okay, kid? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's better now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. Guess you're maturing quicker than I ever realized. Uh, he's a cool kid, huh? Yeah, damn right he is. Don't he ain't much of a kid anymore. 
You know, I've been so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me that I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. Huh. I can't believe I'm only just now realizing this. Appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it. For real. Bro, nigga really pulled a gun. All right. He... Homeboy walked up full chest and pulled a gun. Hey, all that excitement made me super fucking hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? <laughs> you seriously eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up being taller than me one of these days. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Yeah, let's go. Yo, it's me. Sorry for that whole mess back there. I'm kind of glad he's safe and all, but man, he ended up with a hell of an appetite after that. Sure was something. Connected by the gecko, huh? That kid must have grown into a man while I wasn't looking. Uh... Ha! <laughs> The hell are you even talking about? But I guess you might be right. A symbol of protection for the home and the family. And somehow the gecko actually did end up protecting my family. Sounds too perfect to be real. Ugh, after, e after going out to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. But somehow it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Thanks, Kira. You did some great work. You got me saying all this sappy shit. Downright embarrassing. I gotta go get some air and cool down a little bit. Alright, dog. Later. Shit, wasn't wasn't expecting a man to come and just kidnap his fucking son. Though in hindsight, I guess I should have saw that shit coming. All right, another day, another dollar. We got work to do, so let's head to uh, Kichioji. Is it Kichioji? It's Kichioji. I do this shit often enough. I should know which one I'm doing. The legendary Yaki Emo. Da, 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 da. Backstreets. Apparently there's a food truck here. Apparently. Aha! Fantastic. Fantastic. Done. All right. Next thing on the list is I think we max out Emperor today, don't we? Yeah, we max out Emperor, so underground walkway. Indeed. The time has finally come. Have you decided your plans for today? Let's hang out. Why? Are you sure we have time for that? What's your goal here? Slow down, dude. Ah, oh, you're correct, a nice break is necessary at times. Do you have time today? There's something I would like to show you. You see, I entered my piece in the Kawanabe's competition. Moreover, it was accepted. The resulting exhibi exhibition is going on as let we speak. Come, let us go. It is being held at the same museum as last time. Yusuke's painting won the competition. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, 
It's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Mm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? He's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric. Like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. I don't want any more losers like me, or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. You know, despite all the trouble you caused me, having me pose up in a goddamn church, I don't regret what I've done with you, Yusuke. I thou. Thou art I. Thou Honestly, Yusuke is... Yusuke, fucking Ryuji, and An are almost required, because if you don't do their confidants, you miss out on so much of their story that doesn't get expounded on in their story aspects from the actual main game.
transforms persona into a mythological trickster. All right. All right. I can now fuse Odin. Camo, Camo Susano. Oh, nice! It's fucking Susano. Hell yeah! Now that I'm out of my slum, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Oh, he got evade fire. Okay. All right, my nigga evade fire. Shit. Uh... He already evades fire, though. Like, he's been evading fire like it's no fucking big deal lately. I almost don't see the point. Ah, uh, you're back. All right. I don't think I'm gonna need it. But just in case... <coughs> <coughs> Shit, I'm sorry. But just in case... I got a persona to go pick up. Here we go. Set Satan was a rank ten, so it should be done by now. What do you think? Hey, inmate. Lady, if you don't back up off my nuts right now. rehabilitation with all your body and soul. Alarm gun already? Caroline, this is your job. <laughs> Taking him out? Oh, it hasn't taken effect yet. Oh. Okay, that's 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 fine. There is sucks, but it is it is it is Get fine. I can this. like that sucks. Finished already? But I did use a fairly powerful incense, so I think the train I think the training probably has something to also do with the incense. So I wouldn't be surprised if those two things are somehow connected. Anyways, uh, I wasted money on that, but that's that's fine. Air shop. Oh, it's freezing. There's something I gotta ask you to do. You free now, yeah? Heck yeah. Actually, Kyra wants to talk to you. Hold on, I'll call him over. Thanks again for last time. I learned a lot about myself, so I just wanted to show my appreciation. <laughs> Intruding in on another private family moment. <sighs> You're still droning on about that. I mean. It was quite a shock. But that's what made you take me in, right? So who cares? Whoa there, kiddo. If you had just told me all of this sooner, you wouldn't have been threatened. Who your parents are, 
and where you come from stays with you for your entire life. Thanks to my loser parents, I got bullied by complete strangers, and... My father isn't a loser, though. He's a brilliant business owner. <sighs> Shut up, I know that. Ah, so in the end, I was just fighting my own demons. Stuck in my crappy childhood and all the problems I had growing up. My view of Kalru was all distorted because of my rotten childhood memories. I forgive you. Wow, you really matured, huh? Why did you help my father out? He told me you gathered info about Sudasan for him. You willingly got involved in a Yakuza dispute. Would someone normally take that big of a risk? Hmm. I'd understand if you were a member of the Phantom Thieves. Fighting for the underdogs, like a gentleman thief. You know, people have their own opinions, but I think the Phantom Thieves are super cool. I mean, the sexual harassment incident involving that teacher? You gotta go, Kaoru. The supermarket's about to close. Aren't you in charge of dinner tonight? Ah, oh, crap! Uh, please excuse me! <laughs> Kids grow up quick. They can be a pain in the ass, but <laughs> they're worth it. All right, let's close up shop. Go pull down the shutter. Suda changed rather suddenly, huh? Seems like he had a change of heart. Just like them people they've been talking about on TV. I can't be the only one who was saved by his change of heart. Wonder who else knows. <laughs> I wonder. Well, don't worry. It ain't really none of my concern. Man, you really had me fooled. That whole thing about being an enthusiast was all just BS. I hired you as a mere pawn, and now you're Kaoru's bro. The Phantom Thieves are using my guns to take down bad guys, aren't they? They help people in need, huh? <laughs> Interesting. All right, I'm gonna put all my effort into that special menu we talked about. I don't like to owe nobody nothing, so I'll do my best for you, because that's the kind of support I can provide. And with that, we are done. One of two of the uh, Lucent I need to wrap up are finished. And there's going to be a really early point in December where we'll wrap up one of the other Lucent, which is Futaba. But yeah, other than that, we're good to go. Fuck wasted evenings. Allows you to customize your guns for free. Shit, All right. okay. All right. Atis. But what the hell are you gonna do with a model gun? You need a real gun in a shootout, and the knives are just replicas. They're even less useful than a butter knife, you know. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. We were in the middle of closing shop, weren't we? Well, let's get to it. See ya. Uh, what do we have left? I have 39. Yeah, okay. You know what? That's fine. We can... We can do it, right? Yeah, we're, we're fine. I'll have free nights here on out because there's really nothing else for me to really fucking work on, but I don't think they're going to really, like, fuck me up too bad. I can't really work on Futaba right now anyways, not until I have myself an afternoon. And those don't happen till December, so... Moving on. Ah... Uh. My completionist streak is nearly there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost fucking there. Uh, Ichome. 
time for another hangout with Haru. Did you really make me come up here? Good day. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. So I bought this mini roaster in a coffee mill the other day. I thought it would be fun making coffee myself. It's certainly not easy, but it's an immensely satisfying process. Mm. Sorry about that. I just got a little dizzy for a second there. You look exhausted. I'm fine, honestly. Um. Let's see, next up is dirt for the planters. I'm sorry. I think I just need a little rest. Um. To be honest, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Takakura-san has really been pushing for us to start a new venture, business venture soon. In particular, he's adamant about a chain of low-cost, intimate cafes. Some employees don't think it's a good idea, though, so they want me to step in and put a stop to it. But I'm just a high schooler. I there's no way I could predict the success or failure of this idea, so in the end, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, what do you want to do then? Huh? That's a good question. The idea does sound nice. The smell of a fresh cup of coffee always brings a smile to my face. And it certainly would be a n nice to be able to give that experience to as many people as possible, but I don't think you can truly gain the same joy from low cost from the low cost chain he's suggesting. You should tell him that. Excuse me? Huh? You really think he'd listen to a high school with no prior experience? Huh, I see. I've been so afraid of him this whole time, but all I really need to do is show him how I feel. I'll make him see what I'm really thinking, and what's truly important to me. That's the spirit. Yes. By refusing to trust Takamura-san, I was also shutting myself off from any hope of having him trust me. But that's going to be different now. I'll do my best. Yeah, if only I actually messed with anything that she does. But I really don't mess with anything that she does. Oh. <laughs> now, shall we return home? Uh, this one. All right, so we are gonna. I don't really have a lot I can do. Ah, you're back. As I don't really have any other confidants. Hey. I don't have a lot. I don't have any more confidants that need to be ranked up at night outside of. Uh, I guess technically outside of Moon, but that's 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 that one isn't off track, so I don't really have to worry about that. So instead, we're gonna go to the Underground Mall. I wanna get I wanna get these gains. I can't get these gains without some good ass fucking the good ass shit. Take a look around. Wrist weights? Really? Alright, improve protein. Wrist weights. Yo, I'll buy this too. Uh, 
All right, Young and Jaya, back to Cafe Leblon. Uh, we're gonna do just today, and we'll be done for today for this episode. Oh, you wanna do it? Yes. Yeah. I I have nothing more to say. Pick your own pace and work hard. Mm. I guess that was hard, even for you. I can feel your determination, nice though. Going. Seems you gained some strength. God damn, this cat's All ridiculous. Right. All right. Jesus. Cat's ridiculous. I never would have thought of that. I mean, it makes sense, but I wouldn't have thought about it. Jesus Christ. Have you been well, Akira? Yeah, and you guys? We're all fine. I'm jelly, you get to ditch school and all. Anyways, everything on TV and online is irritating as shit. Nah, day goes by that we don't see Shido on the news. Same with the catchy. All that genius detective shit is all a load of bullcrap. It makes me sick how quick they both are to act like heroes. Honestly, the people who believe that rubbish are just as bad. Totally, everyone's been going on about the end of the year election like it's some kind of festival. Yes, this political season is nothing more than a party for most of them. But depending on how we approach this, we might actually this might actually be a good opportunity for us. We'll take advantage of this commotion to execute our mission. It'll be a great distraction. Considering all the attention they're getting, the appearance of the Phantom Thieves will be huge. Less shown, the Phantom Thieves are still as strong as ever. Anyways, everybody, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I will see you all next time. Till then, stay tuned. I'm signing out.